just recently posted another YouTube video and um, this is the time. <laughs> this is the time to study. Absolutely. And time to take advantage of that. You know, there's a lot right. you could be doing. Right. Because I think it originally when I wanted to meet with you, um, I was at a point, well, still at a, I'm still single. I'm still a single parent. Uh, that hasn't changed. But my, um, I guess my, my mindset has changed now because originally, like I said, when I reached out, um, it was because I felt so overwhelmed that I'm like, I'm this person for everything, everybody, and I can't make time to study. Um, so that has changed because I'm, and I listened to you, you know, your recent post and I'm like, yeah, just stop putting off. There is, so what is it? So what is the excuse now? I guess that's, the, that's what I'm, where I'm at. Um, and so there is no excuse and I just, I just need the help to, um, the coaching, uh, to get me to where I need to be and stop thinking that I'm too busy to study. Cause like you said, if it's something that I really wanted, I would definitely do what I needed to do to get it done and to pass, um, to get the score needed for those scholarships. Absolutely. So when are you planning on taking the LSAT? I know that's another thing that's kind of uncertain right now, even that. Yes, because I was scheduled for March. And, um, and so I went ahead and rescheduled because I wanted to take March so I can go ahead and apply with the cycle. Um, because that was, that would be my second time actually taking it. And, um, and so I decided that, um, I say, well, since I can't make it this cycle, I might as well just push it out. And so I pushed it to July, um, and just be ready to be more on top of the next cycle than I am now. Um, so that's the goal. So the goal is July. That gives you a good amount of time and you've been studying for a while already. Yes. Yes. Well, I can't say I've been consistent. Um, I do have to say that because like I said, I was complaining about being busy and I tried to do, I've listened to a lot of your, um, your, your, your information that you have posted. And, um, so I would do a lot of alterations, but it just wasn't working. I just, you know, but I did get something last night. Stop trying to study. Um, when you first wake up, that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> Cause I, that was my schedule. I said, you know, you get up at five or six and you study, you know, and, um, that wasn't working. So I picked up something just recently from you is to, while I'm working, is to use that time, you know, on the break, on my lunch, um, just kind of calculating how are you planning to study a little bit better than um, what I originally thought that I'll be doing. And when I didn't do that, I didn't feel successful. And it made me not want to study because I didn't meet my goal of getting up and studying like I said I was. Yeah, it's all about setting up a structure for yourself so that you could be as productive as possible. And one of those factors is effort, making it as right. easy as possible, setting up a framework, blocking off time in your schedule, and stealing every little minute you can here and there to learn a little bit more, to do another problem, to read another article, watch another video, absorb right. the information so that when you are sitting down to do a full-length timed exam, you've benefited from all that work along the way. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think that was, um, and I ha had another question about, I know that when you break it down, I, I have the LSAT cheat sheet and just breaking down the time schedule, um, you have like easy um, logic question, easy medium, and then you have hard. Um, I, have a, I have a hard time finding or being able to sort those types of questions out so that I can study those because they all seem hard to me. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Well, in that case, start with the easiest of the easy and don't go beyond that until you feel reasonably comfortable with those. But how do you, but how do you know when, when you're studying? Um, because when I pull, I mean, I have Khan Academy. Um, there are other, you know, I guess, and then papers and um, I guess tests that I've printed out. How do you know what is, what is considered an easy logic question? Like what, how do you, how can I sort those things? Cause I'm the type of person I have a, I have, I love paper uh, or pen and paper being able to visual visualize what I'm doing. And so I like to print things out. And so if I'm trying to study, maybe I say, okay, let me take some easy questions with me today so that when I get those little breaks, I can look at it. Or you're saying on your study breaks earlier, like lunchtime study, like listen to videos, podcasts, or you actually talking about getting a piece of paper and trying to work through a logic problem. Well, well, my study plans, they actually lay out for you the exact order in which to do everything. So I have you start with the easiest ordering games, okay. then the moderate ordering games, then the difficult ordering games. And mm -hmm. so you're not going to get them categorized by difficulty in the LSAT exams. Right. Themselves. Those are just right. previously published test forms, which are largely scrambled up. Mm -hmm. 
but my study plans, the day-by-day ones, I break it down for you exactly where to start specifically on the beginning of your LSAT journey all the way through to the end. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I definitely, um, I definitely appreciate um, your resources and um, yeah, just having the opportunity to be able to speak with you is really great because I have, you know, I, when I first went on Instagram, I say, if I'm going to be scrolling on Instagram, I need to make sure that I'm getting some good information so that I can, it's almost like a reality check when I'm scrolling and it's, it's no serving no purpose. And then when I see your post, it's like, okay, let's get back. <laughs> what could you be doing right now? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I'm glad to be mixing something productive into there. I, I post some memes also, but I post mostly substantive stuff. Absolutely. Absolutely. Even the memes, memes are good. You know, memes, memes, you know, even, you know, those are good because it still, it gives you a humor in what you're doing and, you know, and that's, that's okay too. So just good job to you. Just thank you. Thanks. I appreciate it. I'm trying to put out whatever I can that's helping folks, whether it's light hearted or serious. And I think that it's important to get those reminders that, you are on an LSAT journey. You are on a law school journey. Even during difficult times like this where it's hard to maintain focus, you can make the most of this time and give yourself a clear plan of attack so that despite all the uncertainty in the world, whenever you're ready to take the LSAT, you've got the ability there. And maybe you get ready for it a month too early. But that's okay. I'd rather be a month too early than a month too late. There's a lot of uncertainty right now. Will the April LSAT happen? Will right. the June LSAT happen? Right. Even LSAT themselves doesn't know. They're right. hopeful. They, right. That's the word they use. They're hopeful, right. which indicates a lot of uncertainty. Yeah. But if you, get, if you were planning for June and yeah. June didn't happen, right. you could then take July right. just to stay fresh on the LSAT. And I know that that's you're right. shooting for July anyway. That's right. Great. Because if you go for July and then you want to retake, you could retake in August or September. Or if July didn't happen, which is maybe possible, right. then you still have the fall. You can still apply this cycle. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad you're going for July because it's early. Right. July, August, September, October. Mm -hmm. Apply to the beginning of the cycle. That's right. And then you maximize your chances of getting to the best law school possible Mm -hmm. and getting the most scholarship money possible. Right. And you have the chance right now to take control of your journey. I know everyone has other obligations, family, work, trying to balance amidst all the chaos. But if you can block off the time in your schedule and save some time due to not having to commute, then you can carve out an extra couple of hours. That's right. Well, I do appreciate it. And and, um, just wanted to know as far as how do you, uh, one of the questions I wrote down, how do you master the foundation that's needed um, to go on this journey towards um, being able to pace or pacing and endurance, like you were mentioning, it's like how, what would you suggest as far as being at that, getting that foundation for the next couple of months for me um, to be able to get to that point where I'm focusing on other things except for trying to build that foundation. So I guess what is the foundation or how do I, or how do you think that that's something that should be built or how should, how it should be built? Yeah. So Again, my day-by-day study plans go over all of this with the specifics. The idea is that you are reading the relevant articles on my site, which Mm -hmm. I have over a thousand of, but I break down the most important ones. You're watching the relevant videos on my YouTube channel or listening Mm -hmm. to the relevant podcasts. Then you're completing several LSAT problems of that type from easy to difficult within each category. So Mm -hmm. ordering games, grouping games, combination games, then all the dozen plus different types of logical reasoning questions. Same for reading comp. So you're doing these questions untimed by type in order to see the common patterns within each, to know the proper perspective from which to view each question given the question type. Mm -hmm. Once you've built a reasonable level of familiarity and comfort and your accuracy has improved, then you move on to the pacing the timing, those individual 35 minute sections. And then you're pulling it all together with the full length timed exams. Mm -hmm. So with your, with your coaching, um, well, your study, um, study guides, what would you suggest to say, Hey, for somebody, you know, that if you're, you know, you're crunched on budget. Um, but I, I do want to invest in myself as well. I don't want to say, Oh, I can buy this, but I can't buy LSAT material. Um, it's just that I want to, um, if, if it came down to it, what do you suggest would be like a good starting point with your programs, like for what to get? Yeah. So if you're on a really limited budget, 
-hmm. The day by day study plans I mentioned, they're 20 bucks or 25 bucks, depending on which one you choose, depending on your timeline. So it's a a very reasonable investment, of course, that gives you a clear plan of attack, laying out exactly what to be doing every single day over the course of your prep. Okay. Which articles to read on my site, and then which LSAT problems to complete out of the actual exams. Mm. Laying it out for you every single day over the course of your prep. Okay. That's like the lowest level option that I would recommend for you given where you're at. Right. But the best option for you, I think, would be one of the courses. Okay. Because the okay. courses include on-demand video lessons. Okay. So you're getting the foundation explained to you by yes. its size. Right. And it's, you know, I mean, because I've been studying for a while, like studying for a while, and I still just don't get it. And I don't, I don't like that I don't get it. And I feel, you know, because it's, it's making things go down. <laughs> because it's like I'm losing momentum because I'm still not getting it. And I just want to be fami- so familiar with logic games that is just second nature. I'm like, oh, I know exactly how to work this problem. You know, just understanding that everything has like a format. And I feel like once I understand this format, then I'll be good to go. But I just have to get the format. Um, so that's what I'm So the courses, um, and I, so maybe the courses was three levels. Is it three so levels? The courses are three levels. Okay. And the courses include a special day-by-day study plan as well. So you don't need to okay. get both. You right. Just okay. Get the course, you'll get the study plan also. Okay. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. I'm, I'm definitely going to... Um, re look back look into that because um I, I know you you have a wealth of information it's just you know i'm just jealous <laughs> well i've taken i've taken me, me several years to put it together <laughs> but it's your journey though it's your journey I, yeah i understand i appreciate it thank you <laughs> of course of course what other questions do you have for me um that was really only, let me see, um, just creating a plan of, I think you really answered everything, but I'm just going to tell you what I have on my sheet. Um, um, creating a plan of attack, um, which I, fi- I feel like I understand that now. Um, um, what did I say? Orient a one month or two of foundation, pacing, endurance, um, study schedule. And I think I, um, yeah, the March 30th, um, LSAT for me, July um, how to tell ease. Oh yeah. I asked that question. Yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, you know, that's, you know, other than, uh, yeah, I think that was it. You've pretty much answered everything. Um, it was just good to be able to speak with you. No, oh, it's nice I'm, to meet you too. I'm ready to study now. <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm excited to have you on board and yes. if you join the courses and you come to the classes, the group coaching, we'll get to continue having these conversations okay. over okay. the course of your journey. I will obviously answer everyone's questions, but I also invite students to support each other too. So you really get a community. Okay. I think it's especially important during when everyone is socially distanced and separated mm-hmm. to know that you're not going through it alone. Yeah. Um, now, okay. Say for instance, I said I needed to I needed to start it now, and because um, I think you you do it by the month, correct? Yeah. So it, say for instance, okay. So this is March. So let's say March, April, May. Let's say I stop. I, let's say I sign up for three months. Can I just stop at three months? Um, if 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 for some reason June, I mean, I, I do or I do not get to take the June or July's um, test. Um, is it something that say, okay, well, maybe let me pick back up. Um, or is it something that you have to continue to do um, once you've taken it or not, not really taking the, taking the test, but just kind of on your journey there, whether it happens or it doesn't. Yeah, you can join and leave at any time. Okay. It's all month to month. You can cancel whenever you want. You can rejoin whenever you want. Okay. And it's just month to month. So if you join with today's the, what, the 24th? Yes. Do March 24th to June 24th if you want. Okay. 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 Because I had a goal that, I mean, even I'm starting now, but I wanted solid months. I was like April, May, and June. I wanted to be three good months of me being committed to staying on schedule and just being persistent at, understanding um this test so i just wanted to kind of you know i'm just in the process of just organizing things um and to to be prepared um as i am sitting at home so yeah (laughs) well that'll give you plenty of time to work through the course material i mean there's live classes there's group coaching but there's a most most of it is actually on-demand video lessons Mm. and the archives of the previous classes so you could binge watch all of those if you want. Mm, And three months would be more than enough time to do that. Right. Okay. Okay. That sounds good. It really does. Awesome. Well, 
I'm really glad we connected. Please keep in touch and let me know if you need anything as you move forward. And I'll hope to okay. see you in the course. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Have a good one. You too. Stay Bye-bye. Safe. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.